Tennis. Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. We're going to talk about your non-dominant arm. So I'm right-handed, so this is going to be about my left arm or left hand. So we're going to start off with a good old throw to show you what we need to do. So this is a rotational sport we talked about throwing before and why it's very important that you practice throwing and throwing correctly. So we're going to talk about uh, just a quick review of the throw. So I start in my ready position and once I'm in my ready position I'm going to use my non-dominant hand, my arm, and I'm going to turn it. Okay? The left hand helps me to turn my shoulder and turn my body. If I were throwing as a baseball catcher or pitcher, I get this turn to go ahead and get it back. I do not throw like this because then I'm not going to be able to rotate. So I need my non-dominant hand to help me to turn this for this what we call the unit turn. So this is what's going to happen. My right hand is going to be loose when I throw and my left hand is going to be tight. When you throw a ball your left hand your right hand is loose, your dominant hand. But here I'm going to take it and it guides the ball back, okay? So we go ahead and I'm going to just show you with the tennis racket. So I have my ready position and I'm going to use my left hand to turn that racket back to get it into the right position. So once I start with my ready position, the racket is up, I use my left hand to turn the racket, okay? Turn. My right hand is going to be very loose on the, on the racket. You always want to have a loose hand. Anytime you're catching, throwing, hitting a tennis ball, you don't want to have a lot of power in your hand, you want it to be loose. So it's going to pull all the way back. Once I have it back, okay, with the left hand to take that racket back, I then continue with my racket back. At this point in time, the left hand has helped me with the turn, I need to get it out of the way because I, if I don't do anything, I'm going to get the, the ball, in the, my arm is in my way. So I need to get this arm out of the way. And a lot of times what happens is people just take this left arm and drop it. And they throw like this or hit like this. So I need to go ahead and make sure that it's here and it's going to help me in rotating. So I need to get that left hand to go ahead and almost like you're taking, my, taking your elbow and elbowing somebody or pulling. So you're going to have this racket back, you're going to pull, it's out of the way and then we continue so that we can freely have the rotation through the follow through. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a couple of um, examples of the throw. So we're going to start off with a throw and then we'll go ahead and hit some balls. So if I don't use my left hand to take the racket back, I don't turn. So I throw this way. Okay. If I help with my left hand to take it back, I'm in this position. I then need to make sure that my left hand gets out of the way, otherwise I'll be throwing like this. I'm not able to rotate. My left hand is going to be here. It's, I'm going to give another example. It's almost as if I have the ball in my left hand and I'm pulling to create rotation. Okay? So we want to make sure. We want to remember that the left hand, when we're playing, is not to point at the ball because I need rotation. Okay? A football player or a baseball player doesn't point and throw. They actually make the rotation to help. It also helps with your balance, okay, which is very, very important. And <clears throat> there are times you're going to notice that if you look at a tennis player or a baseball pitcher or quarterback, you're going to notice that the non-dominant hand, the left hand, is very, very, you're going to see the muscles, there are a lot of involvement, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hard motion, so you're going to pull and then the, the right arm, of course, is going to be loose. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the entire throw. So left hand helps to take the racket or the ball back in this case. Adjust, pull, and then release. Time. Ready position. Back. Adjust. The left hand stays here in this position. Pull, and then release. Some tennis players are going to go ahead and pull, and the left arm is going to go out this way to create some spacing. That's okay. This or this doesn't really matter. What we need to focus on is making sure that we do rotate, that this action happens to create that rotational motion, okay? I'm going to go ahead and show you with the ball machine. I'm going to hit a couple of balls. 
So here comes a few balls here. I'm gonna get into position, turn, my left hand is back, pull and swing. So we go ahead, back, pull, swing. And I'm exaggerating this because I want you to see that I'm here. I uh, didn't adjust my feet there. I want to here, pull, and then my arm is open. If my hand is this position here, I can't rotate properly. And this is a very common thing that happens. The left arm gets dead. We try to figure out what do we do with this thing, okay? But it's to help and then pull. If we don't take it back or we point, we're not going to create any kind of rotation. Then we're just using the arm. We're creating a linear type shot. We want to create rotation so we can freely hit the ball. We're going to have some energy in the left to create this rotation. So the left hand is very, very important. The final thing with the left hand that I'm going to talk about is when you're taking the racket back, if you take it back without using your non-dominant hand, we don't know what's going to happen. The racket is going to go all kinds of places. And we want to make sure that we have a simple backswing. We want to basically take the racket back in an even and smooth position so that we can have the same kind of take back. So this hand is going to come. I know here it's going to be in the right position. And I come forward. If I don't, sometimes it goes this way. Sometimes it goes that way. It goes all kinds of ways. And we want to create this simple motion so that we can hit it without too much going wrong. So it's very, very important. So it helps to take that racket back, back to here, stable, and then forward. Again, left hand is going to take that racket back to here, and then we go forward, and it's stable. So very, very important. The thing, again, I'm sorry I'm saying final twice, is back and pull. We don't want to take this racket back and drop. That happens quite a bit. We want to make sure that we're creating that linear motion. This hand is here. What do I do? I put it down here and rotate. It's almost like you have a, a handbag or a purse down here. We don't want that. We want to remember what we're trying to do. We're creating rotation. I hope you enjoyed this video on the use of the non-dominant hand to take the racket back and also to help with the rotation. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be uh, notified when we come out with new videos. Thank you very much. For more information on Carbo Tennis, visit www.carbotennis.com. If you wish to email Coach Robert, please do so at robert at carbotennis.com or visit his Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash carbotennis tennis for the people